and welcome to another episode of Disney After Work, where we have one hour of the parks today because the parks are closing early again. They have adjusted the hours. It is the off season, so no more staying till midnight. We only have until 8 p.m. Let's see what we can get up to. I did mobile order the new beef burrito that's over at Studio Catering Co. Like five hours ago so that it'd be ready when I got here and I'm really excited to try it. It's a new food item for 2023. I've been hearing good things and yeah, let's go try it out. This also like really takes me back to 2018, 2019 Disney, basically pre-COVID Disney when they would shorten the hours in the off season after the holidays because a lot of the rides are gonna close down soon. There really is no point to keep the park open later. But sometimes after school, my brother, my mom and I would come over literally for an hour from seven to eight and just go on rides. And it's kind of interesting to be back to that time now. We are in route to food. I also totally forgot they're selling the Magic Key Popcorn Buckets where we can get a $1.50 refill, so I'm getting that tonight too. It was also Ducks Day today and I definitely missed it. That's what happens when you have a full-time job. <laughs> okay, so we did get the, I believe it's called the Asian Beef Burrito at Studio Catering Co. It is very good. It's got fried ramen, kimchi, rice, and beef, and it's like really, really good sauce. The flavors are amazing and I am a big fan. It's also not similar at all to the bulgogi burrito that's currently at Lucky Fortune, which is also a favorite of mine. I appreciate that it's different than that and still the flavors are awesome. Pardon the grossness, I did already tear into it. It's a nine and a half out of 10 for me. Okay, so last night I was able to try the margarita flight here from Hollywood Lounge and I loved it. I think I gave it like a nine and a half out of 10. The watermelon one was my least favorite because I couldn't taste the watermelon, but I ran into friends tonight. Yay! <laughs> and apparently the cucumber flavor, which was my favorite flavor, was the only one that was available. So we're gonna get some reviews from people. Who had, this is the first time trying it from our lovely friends and see how they like it. Okay, so how do we feel? How do we feel about the cucumber? They're both cucumbers. I personally love it. I give this about an eight, maybe an 8.5. I don't have anything to compare it to since they're all sold out on the other flavors, but I'm looking forward to trying them all. Honestly, but it is so good. good. Like, so yeah. It's refreshing, right? <laughs> it is. Yeah. yeah, the flavor is really good. Awesome. I recommend it. It was like it. I think I give it like a seven, just because it's a little bit on the sweeter side for me though, but it is good. She likes her margaritas strong. Yes. I guess. <laughs> they are, they're DCA margaritas, so they're not like intensely strong, but that's good. That's not bad. All right. Awesome. <laughs> Okay, so I feel like an absolute dummy. It's Disneyland that closes at eight. DCA is still open till 10. So we got plenty of time to do what we wanna do. I'm gonna go get my popcorn bucket for my 150 refills. Also, hi, Guardians. All right, there it is. It's only 12.25. And we get 150 refills until February 12th. That's a whole month from now. <laughs> I cannot believe this popcorn bucket is only $12. I thought she made a mistake. That's insane. If there's one thing we know, it's that Disney popcorn is elite. Goofy. Hey, Goofy! You How you look doing? So dapper and you handsome. do look so handsome. Yeah, <laughs> Love the coat. <laughs> All right, so I got my first and only drink of the evening. This is El Chango from Pim's Tasting Lab, and it is so good at hitting the spot right now. And we are about to go on Guardians. Grabbing a beer from Pim's Tasting Lab and then immediately going on Guardians is like a whole vibe. Guys, hearing your excessive blathering on a constant loop was big motivation for me to escape. Like, ouch! Ouch! What was, that was not part of the plan! Why? <laughs> of course I escaped! For those of you who have not been paying attention, the name's Rocket. Waiting for me. Rocket, unplug you! Now I'm craving ice cream and I wasn't able to get my soft serve from Cozy Cone, so we're gonna go see if Salt and Straw is open. So I got the gooey chocolate brownie and the double fold vanilla. This is exactly what I wanted right here. So my bestie Sarah is the best, in fact. She got me my own bottle of sprinkles. Yeah. Look at what Sarah got me at Salt and Straw. It's <laughs> She loves sprinkles on her ice cream, so I was like, 
<laughs> these, these are going in her bag when she comes to the park. I purpose I purposefully go to Ghirardelli to get their sprinkles and put it on my soft serve from Cozy Cone. So I go one spot to the next. And yeah, and now I have my own bottle of sprinkles to put in my bag. <laughs> Best gift ever. Yeah. <laughs>